Fresh squads! Fresh battles! Welcome to the Ink Soap world of Splatoon 3! Claim turf by inking it in kid form, then swim swiftly through your ink in squid form. That's the name of the game in Turf War. Two teams of four face off to ink as much of the stage in their colour as they can. The team with the most turf covered after three minutes wins. These messy turf wars can take place almost anywhere. Barren wastelands, urban residential areas, giant sewage systems. Anywhere could be home to a turf war. Whether you focus on inking turf or splatting opponents, how you set about ruling the battlefield is up to you. Weaponry comes in all shapes and sizes. Shooters fire rapidly and are easy to use. Chargers build up ink and let you pick off opponents from a distance. Rollers are a great way to ink a lot of turf as you run around and splat rivals too. Cool new weapons like the Stringer fire off three bolts of ink at once. And Splatanas send blades of ink flying with rapid slashes. There are all sorts of incredible weapons on offer, each with their own unique playstyle. Be sure to try them all out and find one that works for you. Every main weapon also comes with a secondary sub-weapon, such as Splat Bombs or the Sprinkler. Use these sub-weapons strategically for a competitive edge. That goes for special weapons too. Eat lots of ground to fill up your special gauge. Then unleash your special weapon. Stick to walls with the zip caster and get the drop on your enemies. Vacuum up enemy ink with the ink vac. Or support your allies with buff filled beverages from the tactic cooler. Choosing the perfect moment to unleash your special weapon can turn the tide of battle in your favour. If you fancy a change of pace from Turf Wars, check out Anarchy Battles. Fight for control of specific areas in Splat Zones. Ride the tower to the enemy base in Tower Control. Carry a powerful weapon to the goal in Rainmaker. Collect clams and chuck them into the goal in Clam Blitz. Strategy, skill and of course teamwork are key to winning anarchy battles. Welcome to Splatsville, home of the trendiest Inklings and Octolings. Here you can buy new weapons as well as fresh threads with ability-boosting effects. Prepare for online battles at the lobby, located in the middle of Splatsville. Here you can practice your splatting between matches. Show off your style in your personal locker. Or even watch replays of your most recent showdowns. Switch to your teammates' and opponents' perspectives for an even closer analysis. Take a load off with Splatsville's freshest fad, Table Turf Battle. Lay out cards to ink your squares and aim to cover the most territory. Build your deck from over 150 different in-game cards. Next, let's check out this rather suspicious manhole. This is the entrance to the home of the Octarians, the arch enemies of the Inklings. Use all kinds of weapons to face down the Octarian army, who for some reason are growing fur. Take on a host of challenges with the help of your companion, Small Fry, and unravel the mysteries of Alterna. The single player campaign is a great way to get to grips with the basics of Splatoon. Pick up a part-time gig as part of the Salmon Run crew. Be 
back relentless waves of salmonids and collect as many golden eggs as you can. Work together in a team of four and try to hit your quota within the time limit. You'll have your work cut out for you, especially if the colossal King Salmonid makes an appearance. Splatsville also holds occasional celebrations called Splatfests, where the whole city cuts loose. Choose to represent one of three teams and battle it out in four versus four turf wars to settle important questions. In the second half of a Splatfest, all three teams will splat it out at the same time in chaotic tri-color turf wars. And that's not all. More content including new weapons and new stages will be added to Splatoon 3 via regular free updates for two years from the game's launch. Squad up and ink your way to victory! Splatoon 3 is available now on Nintendo Switch.